My name is Ronald Chibirike and I am the director of Peace Africa Children's Ensemble. <laughs> My name is Kalunji Israel, I'm the artistic, at the same time, the assistant director of the Peace African Children Ensemble. Peace Africa is a children's support organization and also a children's performing arts ensemble that we started in 2004. And right now we um, support over 25 children. So the story is starts from uh, far back when we were still students. Struggling and getting some money and trying to help as we were helped. By the time we started, we were students and we were not working. We came from humble backgrounds and we were supported by other organizations that saw our talents in music and dance that took us up and helped us. So in, in, the, in a way of giving back to the society and the organization that organizations that, uh, that helped us and supported us through school, we decided to start Peace Africa Children's Ensemble in order to also give something to society. This is like a give back to the society, it's give back to the children, children that, are, that go through the same problems like we passed through. So we, we, we understand their problems and try to help them and be able to take them to school, have, give them food and most of all, train them in the, in the artistry and I mean the music and dancing. Since we started the organization, we've been training them in the field of music, dance and drama. And they have reached a, a very, very recommendable level in the performing arts. and use the same skills and go on stage with our guidance and perform, reach out to different children in the world. So that's how we started. We started as students and we, uh, and we with students we are very, very appreciative of what the uh, people have given to us or the community has given to us and we wanted to give back. Mm -hmm. And in that way, we started helping more children and actually establishing buildings where they can sleep. This is for the girls, uh, the other block is for the boys. The children are provided with um, health care, accommodation, school fees, and all other necessities of, la of uh, life that they need at the moment. And we have done this since 2006, having different um, difficulties, difficulties here and there because all the money that we, we have been using to construct this home has been from our salaries. He has almost four jobs. Four jobs? Yeah. He has four jobs. What kind of jobs exactly? Teaching. He's Teaching. a teacher, he's a, an instructor, he's a performer. And I am almost the same way as he is. I'm a teacher, I'm an instructor, a musician, composer. Dealing with children is like, it's 
quite a big responsibility. We are still on a journey and we just pray that we get through. We feel it is our calling and we think we can do it better, better. But we are, of course, we are open and try to uh, look out for funds that can support them. Who can support a child and be able to uh, take him or her through education. How are you? Okay. So the whole project is out now to the, uh, to the community, to the world. Anyone who wants to support can support. But we are uh, our original dream and our really calling is to help the children through music and dance. Because that is what we have said, that is what we know. And we, we, we all believe that that's what we can do best to help the children. Because in the music culture, um, you can use music and dance to communicate. <laughs> and the children really and, uh, get, uh, get away from home and, and have no one to talk to about, uh, about their problems. But what is MD? MD means what? Means dance and drama. I don't know why. I don't know why. I'm so happy. So we uh, put them together and use music and dance. To, uh, to help them forget where they have come from because they come from um, places that are torn with HIV, AIDS, poverty and famine. But when you use music and dance, it becomes easy for, for the child to understand. They start living socially well with others because they are all from different different places, the northern Uganda, the eastern Uganda. And we have one from, from with origins from Rwanda and you know, they come from different backgrounds, different situations at home. So when the, they have lost their parents, they have lost, you know, all they have is us. So we are like the parents. Sometimes there are moments of happiness, sometimes there are moments of sadness. Yeah.